Okay, we continue, guys. Everyone ready to pay attention? Okay, today we compute the flux. So we compute surface uh, integral and the vector functions, no? And, and the last class we study the interpretation of this, que es el flux. The flux is the amount of uh, how much vector field passing through the mm, uh, one specific surface, no? Uh -huh. Entonces, normally uh, the information is given is the, the vector field, of course, and the surface, okay? Uh -huh. Entonces, now we have several ways. This is the beauty of that part. Okay? We have different formulas, several formulas. Okay, we are studying the detail this formula. So basically, uh, to have a vector field, uh -huh. you compute the normal vector that I want to explain now, and you perform the Doppler. And when you perform the dot product, you, uh, you have now a scalar function, and you know that the S is also a scalar. We studied last class, no? Because we compute the problem of the surface area, no? And also, no surface area is, is, is defined is not the same as exam. No, 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 no. Exam 4 is exam 4. Hello? And the final is additional. So we. Uh, okay, the final is not the same exam for no. Exam four is, is the chapter four exam. And the final is community, everything. Optional, no mandatory. Ex exam four, of course, is mandatory. Both online and on paper. What is the reason that you're confusing? Clear or no clear? Clear or no clear? Ah, well, okay. Uh -huh. Now, another way, another way is under the consideration, under the consideration that M is a normal vector uh, and DS, que DS is a scalar, together it represent a new vector that I want to call DS. Uh -huh. And you perform the Doppler. So what is the best way? I don't know. Depends on the problem. Sometimes you determine the normal vector, multiplication by the norm vector field, uh -huh. you have a scalar function, and you perform the surface integral in the scalar function, or no, or you determine the DS vector and perform the Doppler. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So what is the formula to find? For example, suppose can I make a decision to do the problem do using normal vector. Okay. See, you have parametric uh, equation of the surface. We can do that in this way. So you have no parametric, you have implicit or explicit. Implicit is much better. You compute using this formula. Okay, I prefer this formula. Remember, this formula is is a traditional formula, no? Okay, we discussing in the chapter two to compute the normal vector when you have, for example, to find the equation for the for the tangent plane for the tangent plane you remember we need normal vector so the fantastic way is using the gradient because i know that the gradient is always a, a perpendicular to the hypothetical uh, level surface uh -huh. now let's check it out quickly the, the most important surface that you can find in the problem, in the application problem, suppose plane. Suppose planes. Well, how you find normal vector in the plane? Well, easy. Uh, suppose the C equal a constant, phi, or y is a constant, 3, or x equal constant, a 1. Uh -huh. This is the a specific plane. For example, that plane is like that, perpendicular to the c-axis. Uh -huh. This plane is perpendicular to the y-axis. This is c equal 5. This is y equal 3. And this is uh, x equal 1, it's like that. So it's not necessary to compute any formula. No, no, hello, hello. You know that the normal vector is k here. The normal vector here is j. And the normal vector here is i. Remember, I remember this idea. 
because actually we have two normal vector. The normal vector can point out the surface and the normal vector can point inside the surface. Uh -huh. Entonces, the only difference in, in between this guy is that one is negative the other because it's opposite direction. No? So when you compute the normal vector, dependent the problem is the problem is say uh, determine the flux out the the ah uh, well okay okay so say you determine the normal vector so we have two normal vector because the surface the most common surface ninety nine percent of the surface is orientable so we have two faces and we have two normal vector. Uh -huh. And don't be scared if you find the normal vector is the opposite sign to the to the to the direction that you want because you multiply by negative one you you change the direction in the story. Uh -huh. When you have a plane, suppose a plane more complicated like that, ax plus by plus c equal to this also plane oblique plane. No, it's obvious that the normal vector is the vector ABC. You remember that, no? And then uninormal vector is ABC divided by magnitude of this, okay, is square root A square plus B square plus C square. Okay, and you find the, the normal vector in that way. The plane is super easy. I have not necessarily apply a formula, a gradient, no, 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 because it's a flat. It's flat. Suppose it's sphere. Suppose it's sphere. Now the equation for the sphere is x squared plus y squared plus c squared equal. Uh, let me call the radio r r a or whatever a squared. Uh -huh. Entonces, you determine the implicit formula is x squared plus y square plus c square minus a square equal to c. Uh -huh. Do you say, well, professor, what is the reason can you move to the left or to the right? Dependent, you move in any way. Uh -huh. so when you compute the normal vector, maybe it's the normal vector in or out the surface. And you compute the gradient. The gradient of this is a vector. Okay, partial derivative of this with respect to x. Partial derivative with respect to y, partial derivative with respect to c, and everything divided by the magnitude of this. The magnitude is the square root 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 4c squared. Uh -huh. so you can see, for example, here, okay, 4 is a common factor, no? Uh -huh. And you factor out like a 2 here outside. Uh -huh, outside. So we have in the top 2x, comma 2y, comma 2c, uh -huh, divided by 2. Uh -huh, it's all because these two is cancelled. And the square roots, x squared plus y squared plus c squared. Can I know okay, at the beginning this is a? Just say, no? If you find the square root both sides, it's a. And these two is cancelled. And this is a. Is the hypothetic. Hypothetic, no. The actual uh, radio of the sphere and the unit vector is x, comma y, comma c. Divided by a, divided by a, divided by a. And this is unit vector. Uh -huh. And this unit vector is out or is in? I have no idea. I have no idea, but I want to verification maybe, no? Uh -huh. Sphere look like that. A sphere. Mm -hmm. This is my radio A. A. A sphere. And you see the X, Y, and C in the first quadrant is positive. It's obvious. It's obvious. Okay, one specific point belong to the first quadrant, the first first optum. Sorry. See, every component is positive is because the normal vector is out the surface. Makes sense. Uh, you you need inside the surface. Okay, no problem. You change the sign. Minus, minus, minus. Okay. And why I change the sign, Professor? Because I am doing it in different way. Instead of 
uh, using algebra and everything bring to the left, I bring to the right is a completely opposite that sign. And that's it. So don't be scared for the sign because you compute the, 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 the normal vector. Uh -huh, no? Nice. And you check in, see it's always in according to the problem. I need out the surface, okay. Or in the surface, okay. Do you follow me? It's complicated or it's, or it's hard. So we are computing normal vector of the any surface. This is not new. We know that. Cylinder. Uh, suppose the cylinder, circular cylinder. Suppose the classical x squared plus y squared equal a squared. Uh -huh. Z is missing. It is a cylinder circular cylinder along the z axis. Uh -huh. So you you find the implicit formula. One well, of the implicit formula is x squared uh, plus y squared, maybe minus a squared equal to zero. Uh, and so when you find the, the, the gradient, okay, you di differentiate this with respect to x to x, with respect to y is to y, with respect to z, we have no. Divided by what? Divided by the magnitude. This is a capital. Magnitude of this, case is square root. 4x squared plus 4y squared, no c. Z similar situation happen. The four go outside, cancel out with the two. We say is is x comma y comma zero. We have no component in z divided by a because square root a x square plus y square is a divided by a is similar. Uh -huh. And make it sense? Yes, of course, make it sense because in our cylinder circular cylinder. Uh -huh. In our circular cylinder, the you select one, you pick one point on the lateral face of the cylinder, and the normal vector point like that, no, uh, outer uh, x y. Entonces, the component z is zero. We have no component in this direction. Okay, this is the surface, the lateral surface here. Uh, suppose that I need to compute the total flux. Uh, this is more complicated because this surface. Well, uh, see, I suppose that this is a hole, hole, and this is a hole, no problem. But so I suppose that it's a totally cylinder. So this this surface is a compound. It's formed by surface one. Okay, the normal vector is this for the surface one. We have surface two, get the top part, and surface three, get the bottom part. Uh, so the surface two, and the surface two. The normal vector is just k. And the surface 3, the normal vector is minus k. Okay, I suppose the normal vector pointing in this direction, and uh, here pointing in this direction. Normal vector. So you need to compute it, no using only one integral, no using three integral. You want to find the total flux. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, there are another way. More interesting. Okay, I want to explain. Not today. Cylinder, cylinder. Uh, paraboloid. It's the last classical example. No paraboloid. Paraboloid. Paraboloid is bueno. Suppose paraboloid along the z-axis to say c is equal x squared plus y squared. No. This is implicit. However, when you express an explicit, for example, I move in that direction, x squared plus y squared minus c. Oh, in opposite sign, that's a matter. So when you compute the gradient, the gradient, the partial derivative with respect to x is 2x, the partial derivative with respect to y is 2y, and the partial derivative with respect to c is negative 1, divided by square root, 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 1. Uh -huh. And this is the gradient for the paraboloid. Okay, this is clear now. Very, very confusing or no? Question? Opinion? 
opinion. This is Duque is clear. Okay, I understand. It's no big deal. Clear, clear. Okay. Entonces, now let me try to before start example explain the most typical formulas that we are using to compute the uh, the flux. So, so flux is three dimensional. Uh, uh, a surface integral to compute the flux. Uh -huh. When the when the when the when the when the vector function is is when the sorry integral function is vector uh, vector field. Uh -huh. uh, one interpretation. One interpretation. One interpretation. Let me try to interpretation. O sea, eh, this is mathematical, no? Entonces, there are several interpretations. However, however, if you consider que this vector field represent velocity of the one, I don't know, fluid, water. Uh -huh, this is velocity. To see velocity, normally I don't call F, I call B. But it's okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, entonces, velocity es meter per second, ¿no? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, you need to compute the flux. Uh -huh. Entonces, the unit of this guy, the S, es meter square. Because it's area, ¿no? It's an area. Uh, if you put together dimensionally, velocity es meter per second. Uh -huh. uh, area es meter. Uh, entonces, es meter cubic per second. Uh, entonces, ¿cuál es la representación de esto? Este es el volumen. Este es el volumen. Volumen de agua pasando por la superficie por unit of the time. Ok, esto es flux. Pero esto es en el ejemplo de la velocidad de la velocidad. Si el vector field es no velocity, es no, entonces matemática es just flux. So, this is one particular example to understand a little bit the meaning, the physical meaning of the flux. Okay? Uh -huh. However, I go to the mathematical part. Suppose que I have the parametrization of the surface. Suppose que es given the parametrization of this surface. UB. Remember, two variables. Two parameters. Uh -huh. So you you evaluate the vector field and this U B. Logan. Uh -huh. It's the same. Remember the vector field have three components, no? Uh, P Q R. And the parametrization have three components, no? It's the X component. U, B, eh, Y component, U, B, and C component, U, B. Uh, and, and, and that function depending of X, Y, and C. Everything. X, Y, and C, X, Y, and C. So just plug it in. Replace. This notation means replace P uh -huh, for X, Y, and C can represent this, this, and this. It's just plug it in. Plugging in the surface into the vector value function. Okay, now I computed a normal vector. I computed the normal vector now. Well, a normal vector, so I have the parametrization in my hand. The, form, the equation is RU, so partial derivative, RB divided by magnitude of this. And this is magnitude of this. So this equation is no new for you. The UDP. And I put everything together. I put everything together. I put everything together. Everything together is you transform it, this surface integral and in double integral in the region R. And uh, where living the region R, uh, the region R living 
in the plane UV. Okay, okay normally so you are doing good selection of the equation for the parametrization is a rectangle. Uh, so no, it's okay because we are doing another chain of variable like a polar maybe. Uh -huh. But to say you have in your hand the vectorial function evaluate in the surface. UV. Okay, double normal vector. Normal vector is this. I just copy that. Uh, multiplication, no double. This is double. This is not the regular multiplication. DS and DS is this. I copy uh, RU cross RB DU. Uh -huh. And this is cancelled. You see, wow, it's cancelled. Okay, problem, I understand. Because so basically, I can use in this idea. It's a double integral in the region R. The vector value function evaluate in the surface. Using the vector value function R. And to so say now we have RU cross RB uh, du dv. Uh, and this you can interpret like a DS vector. Pero like a vector. This is DS, is scalar. When it's magnitude. This is the another formula to compute the. Uh, uh, basically, we have no use the formula. We're using the. The intuition, no? So you determine the normal vector, uh, plugging in the vector value function that represents the surface into the vector field. Uh -huh. And that's it. Another formula that frequently the people like because it's easy or easier than this is no parametrization. Well, no, yes, parametrization, but for example, parametrization and explicit. Explicit, remember explicit, implicit, and parametrization. And parameter in, in explicit, I proved the last class that the vector ds vector. Well, I prove that is no vector, is a square root uh, fx square plus fy square plus one dx1. Uh, remember, the, I using F, little f, no capital, because I suppose that is C equal F x comma y. This is explicit for. Uh, but he, however, so you consider like a vector. This is the vector he, I proved in the last class. Case minus F x, comma minus F y, comma one, d x d y. There are no problem. See, you consider the opposite sign. You consider it positive here, positive here, and negative here. You know that the only difference is that the normal vector point up, out, or in. You want to lie in one specific example. Uh -huh. Now, so you put everything together, everything together, okay, like that. Look, this is the double integral surface surface integral, sorry, f double ds. Uh -huh. And you know, and you know, f is pqr component, no product, and the vector is this. Suppose, suppose this version is the most popular. Minus fx, minus fy, uh, one, dx dy. So in this moment, you are doing this operation, this substitution, this is no surface integral, this is double integral. And you are doing double product. And you are doing double product. And the double product is double integral in the region R. Uh, multiplication is minus, 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 minus P, Fx, minus Q, Fy, plus R. 
Uh -huh. Entonces, my question is, what is the region R? Well, this, in this case, I suppose, I suppose that we are doing the parameterization using X or Y. Therefore, the region R is the projection, the shadow of the surface onto the XY plane. I don't know, suppose that we have parabolic like that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now you projecting onto the XY axis. Uh, this is the region R, and the region R in this case, no necessary is a rectangular, no necessary rectangular. OK, but suppose that it's circular. Well, no, I apply polar for solving this particular double integral. So there are many ways to do this, many ways. No, this is the, I don't know, some people know, say, no, professor, no, I don't need to memorize a lot of, no, OK, 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 okay respect. Uh, Normally, some people prefer that way. So that way is classical. You don't compute the normal vector. No, 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 no. I don't care normal vector. You, I know the expression for the ds vector in x y variable. Okay. You apply the formula directly. So you don't need to prove that. You apply the form that formula directly. Uh huh. And that's it. And you convert my surface vectorial integral in one double integral. And the region is the is the projection onto the specific one. Bueno, bueno, bueno. In this case, x, y axis, but I can project it in different axes depending on the problem, no? Suppose that I have another formula. So this formula is on the, the consideration because c is equal f x comma y. However, say I have, for example, y like h x comma z, well, no, my formula change. My formula is now double integral in the region R. This is minus P, partial derivative H with respect to x, plus Q, minus R, partial derivative H with respect to z, and this is dx, dz. Take onto the plane uh, xz. Uh -huh. Because my explicit formula of the surface is expressed in that way. However, the other possibility is to express it like a x, like a p, like a function y and c. Double integral now is a little bit different. A p, only p, a parenthesis, minus q, y. Little p, this is little p, this is capital P, capital P, little p, minus r, p, z, d, y, d, c. Uh -huh. It's similar, it's analog, but okay, I suppose that 100, 199.9% we use in that form. So everyone like projecting onto the x, y, and sometimes no, sometimes it's most convenient projecting in the another plane, depending on the geometry of the surface, no? I bring example. I bring example. I say in this example, maybe I use in normal vector, in other no, no normal vector, and you know using the formulas, and you know using parametrization. I don't know. I bring example. Uh, the any way you try to do, you get the same answer. However, in one method is much better doing by parametrization, or no, using univector, and other no, 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 using the formulas. Okay, let's see. For example, I have example one. Example one. Example one always is easy. We have no, we have vector field, and this vector field is cosine xy, xy, sorry, no comma, multiplication, xy, comma, e to the y, comma phi, phi. This is my vector field. Uh, and the surface, the surface S is the unit square, unit is square, is square in xy plane uh -huh. oriented, oriented up. Okay, let me try to understand the surface. Well, the surface is, look. This is y, 
this is x, this is c. My surface say the problem is the uni square. Uni square one. One. Like that. The xy plane is in my surface. Uh -huh. This is a point, the point one comma one comma zero, no? Uh -huh. This is the point one comma zero comma zero. This is the point zero comma one comma zero, and this is the origin, que es zero comma zero comma zero. This is my surface, S. Uh huh. Uh huh. Entonces, what is the easy way? What well, my opinion? What, what is the normal vector in that case? The problem say oriented up. So the normal vector, I suppose. Okay, very well. Daniel Girardo is K, okay, professor. The normal vector is K. Okay. And K is K is zero comma zero comma one. And when you perform the double product F, double product M is stay alive zero times something is zero, zero times something is zero, and one times five is five. So the my flux integral I discover. R. So it says double integral phi, this phi, <laughs> and crazy. Phi is the integral function constant, this. And now interpretation, you need to convert. No, 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 this is crazy. This is phi is a constant, phi you put outside the, the surface integral. And this surface integral is obvious, it's the area. Find time area. Find area. A area of what? Of and the surface square. If the side is one, those are the area one, and the answer is five. End the story. Do you see it's easy? Sometime in that way, when you, for example, uh, will be able to to discover what is the normal vector only looking. The, the surface. In OK, no, it's hard. But in this case, it was easy. Any question in this elementary can you get the problem? Example two, this example two is a little bit complicated, no? Is you have vector field. Y, comma. And the surface, and the surface, is the surface C equal one minus X square minus Y square. Okay, okay. As always, I ask you, what kind of surface? I need to know first name and last name of this surface. Because immediately to understand my problem, I need to do the graphic of this in 3D. Graph in 3D. Come on, what is it? I need again. Okay, I for the first chapter I, I asked you surface, 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 and you never understand with surface, surface, surface. Only Hirado, no? Is the guy get only no but Hirado, no? Stay quiet. No answer. Come on, Brandon, Thomas, David Restrepo, Omar, okay, Paraboloide Victoria say. Aha, Paraboloide along what axis, Victoria? Along, 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 along. Along what axis? Along, 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 along what axis? Y axis? No. Totally wrong. C axis? Yeah, you are right. In what direction? Up or down? In what direction? Up or down? Down. Very well. Down. Down because it's negative, right? It's a basic it's a parabola, no? So like you can see the, the, the you see can see see coño. Look at that. This is one comma one represent the z intersect on the x is zero y is zero. And open down. How do you know go open down? Because it's negative, right? The parabola is open down like that. Boom, boom, and this is circle. This is my surface. is in my surface. 
Ma no, no, ok, ok, bonded by maybe, ok, I need to specification more, I need to specification, for example, z uh, greater than or equal to zero. Uh, this is more clear, specification for the surface. Uh -huh. So I have in my hand, I have in my hand the explicit formula of the surface. The explicit form of the surface. Of course, the flux I want to find is this and this surface. No, 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 and the bottom part. No, 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 no. This is another problem. In what include two surfaces. But no, 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 no. C1, C2, C. No, 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 no. Only one surface. I don't want to complicate your line now. Uh -huh. Now, would be fantastic using that formula. So this surface integral I can interpretation like a double integral and the formula is minus P partial derivative with respect to X minus Q partial derivative with respect to Y of the of the F uh -huh. uh, plus R DA oh, no, DA no well, DA DA I put in general DA. I, I don't know. I see I, I ending in polar or no. I suppose K, yes, because the base of this is circle, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, who is F? Who is little F? Well, no, little F is all, always C. Okay, now partial derivative with respect to X. Yeah, you differentiate this guy with respect to X. Is Minus two x, minus two x, and y is minus one. Okay, okay, no, no, no bad. Now you plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. So look at that. This double integral and the region R. Yeah, by the way, the region R I suppose is this region. Okay, because the projection. Onto we use x and y to so say this this guy this da is maybe dx dy or dy dx. I don't know exactly what the ordering can use to perform the double integral. And who is p? This is p pqr pqr pqr. Look at that pqr p s x. Uh huh. Um, f of x is minus two x, but we have here one negative. And this negative together is positive. So it says 2x squared. Welcome from x squared because we have one x here and one x here. PQ, P. P multiplication by fx and change the sign. Plus exactly the same idea. Y times 2y gets 2y squared. Plus r. Who is R? Z. Uh -huh, DA. Okay, easy. Now I need to do the double integral. Pero es, something is weird. Because the double integral in X, Y plane. And what about C? I have no idea. Bueno, 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 okay, okay, okay. You need to substitution DC here. Okay, C is now 1 minus x squared minus y squared. Because my double integral is only expressed using x and y. No C. I never see double integral using C. Well, yeah, you can, of course. But when you're projecting in the Cx plane or Cy plane, but in the xy plane, no, C is one of the connection between the formula connected with the xy. So if you subtracting, because we have 2x squared here, minus 1 is x, only 1. So this is x squared. Like y happened in y squared. So 2 minus 1, plus, plus, plus 1. Okay, this one is this one. Uh -huh. And now, da. Okay, so in this moment, I make a decision. No, 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 this is crazy doing by rectangular x, y. No Cartesian. I change to polar. In polar, I projecting so my region R is no rectangular. No, 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 no. It's circle. It's circle. It's circle. Okay, by the way, it's this circle. 
but I have no idea. I have no idea what is the radio for this circle. Well, the radio of the circle, so you suppose that Z is zero, because we are talking about the xy plane. So C0 is obvious, okay, we have in the equation x squared plus y squared equal one. No, look, 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 look at this equation. On the, the assumption that C is zero, and you isolate this, you move to the other side, it's obvious you get the radius one. Oh, easy, easy, easy. So you convert this, 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 double integral in one, double integral, but using polar. Uh -huh, remember, now polar, the same region, but on polar. Uh -huh. So you immediately convert the integral function in polar. This is r squared plus one times the Jacobian r dr d d theta, and r vary from zero to one because it's the radius, and theta vary from zero to one. Boom. Uh -huh. Multiplication, of course, this is r cubed plus r. Integration, this is a piece of okay. I want to skip this uh, idea. The answer is three pi over two. Any question? Any question? In this case, was countable using the formula. Using the formula. In this case, was countable using the formula. What formula? That formula. Ah, uh -huh. this is the flux. Yes, this is the flux. This is the flux. So the thing we compare today is a flux. Uh -huh. And to say now, the flux is a mathematical quantity you never see before in your life. Uh -huh. I try to intuition, like a physical concept, if the vector field is velocity, oh, entonces the, the amount of fluid passing through the surface. Okay? You never see before this quantity in mathematical now, in, Vector calculus, yes. Uh -huh. And by the way, guy, uh, when we study line integral, we study two kinds of line integral, circulation and flux. It's the same idea, flux, but in 2D. Uh -huh. Now it's flux in 3D. But circulation, we have no circulation in 3D. Well, yes, we have, but no surface integral. Because surface integral imply area. Uh -huh. In one area, we have no tangent vector. Well, you have, but we have infinity combinations. So suppose a plane, uh, here at one point, you have infinity tangent vector. No? However, we have only one node, no, only one node, two in that direction or in this direction. That is the reason can make it sense to talking about flux and surface integral, no circulation. We can compute it in a word. Yeah, we can, but knowing surface, you know, in, in curve. Compute the, the, the word down in this curve. You can. And to say in this case, yes, we use a tangent vector. Okay. okay. Any question? Any question? That's a flux. Flux? Some people, some people finish. Calculate three say no, professor. Uh, the thing I don't understand is a flux. Flux is a new thing. It's a mathematical quantity. Okay, maybe in one physical process have made sense. Uh -huh, uh, circulation. What is the circulation? Well, circulation is mathematical quantity also. But see, you suppose that the vector field is a force. Uh huh. Uh, it does it's a word. Is but the vector field is velocity is another thing. So it's just mathematics. Example three. So you have no question. Example three. We are doing exactly the same. Uh, we are doing exactly the same. Is you have vector field. Is three y comma x comma 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 six. Uh, and so we have a complicated surface. Suppose that we have a complicated surface. The formula is x plus 3y squared minus xy. But I have no idea what is that. This is not the. Okay, you need to remember the classical surface. Uh, suppose it's exactly the same in 2D. I remember any curve. No, no. I remember parabola, elixir, line, 
uh, sign, cosine, function, but I don't remember any uh, non-standard. Uh, equation similar happen here. Suppose this is fake, I have no idea. Well, see, I, I have, see, I want to see, I put in your algebra, and that's it. But the surface is bonded in these constraints. Okay? Okay, it's basically, I have no idea. For example, in 3D, we have this. This is a square, no? Union square. I suppose that the surface, suppose, 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 suppose that the surface is something like that. Uh -huh. So now basically is the surface above. I suppose that is, let me highlight, only double. Bonded by by these contracts. Ah, but I don't lie. I don't like 3D sketch. Basically, I lie 2D sketch because 2D sketch is a square. Unit square. One, one, zero. This is my region R. It's given in the problem, so I take advantage of this. Uh -huh. so, uh, my goal is compute the flux. And the flux is the integral, surface integral, and the vector field, mm, double this. Uh -huh. So people prefer Right like that, it's equivalent, you know. Don't pro a, a unit normal vector, yes, it's equivalent. And this and this together is this. But I know the formula. I know the magic formula. The magic formula is, look, I copy here. You transform it to the double integral. Uh -huh. It's minus P, Fx, minus Q, Fy, plus R. DA. I put, I put DA because I don't know. Well, in this case, it's a square. Yeah, I suppose can you ending the double integral, for example, integration in this direction and expanding in this direction. Does I know? No, no, does I know? I know. I know that it's much better integration, for example, dy first and the x. It doesn't matter. But this is my region R. Yeah, this is my region R. Okay, now just plug it in. When, when I need to compute the fx. And f y. Okay, partial derivative, partial derivative, partial derivative with respect to x. This guy is one, one minus one, one minus y. Do you follow me? It's the partial derivative here is one, partial derivative this is zero with respect to x, and partial derivative this is just y. Uh -huh. And partial derivative with respect to y is zero, the first part. Second part is six y minus x. Okay, this is the partial derivative, <clears throat> and it's a pqr. Look, pqr. Okay, therefore my integral, my double integral, look like, like that. Double integral uh -huh. minus 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 minus, well, it's three y, three y, get p, uh -huh, minus this, so, so minus this is like equivalent to say y minus one, no? you change the sign, this negative affect, oh, no, affect both, uh, in this case plus x case q, multiplication by the negative of this case x minus six y, uh -huh. plus, 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 plus R, uh, who is R? Who R is 6. Uh -huh. dy, dx, and y vary from 0 to 1, and x vary from 0 to 1, okay. in this region. 
Uh -huh. The rest is super easy. The rest is multiplication, separate this is called one. Uh -huh. And the answer is 13 over 3. Boom. It's a flux in that case. Any question? Any question? No. Okay, super. We are the best. Uh -huh. I bring another example, or two more examples. Solve it in different, no using the same formula, the same formula. No, no, no. This is easy. But it's easy when you have in your hand the explicit. I want to do this example for using implicit. Uh, suppose get my vector field zero comma y comma minus c and my surface is y equal x square plus c square uh -huh, until y is less than the y is in between zero and one the bounded by this. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 Good. Okay. I try to understand this surface. Uh -huh. What kind of surface it is? Uh -huh. I I try to ask you again. What kind of surface it is? What kind? What kind? Hadi, Bahor, what kind? Answer me, Jocelyn. Answer me, Brandon. Answer me, David. Answer me, Omar. Hey, I don't know. Victoria, yes. That, what, what, what kind of surface? Fitby. Daniela, what kind of surface? Carlos Duque. Paraboloide. Very well, Paraboloide, Victoria. In what direction open? In what direction open? In what axis? Along, 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 along why? In, in what direction? In the positive direction or in the negative direction? In the positive direction or in the negative direction? So in, in, in the positive direction, very well. So, okay, super. Now, well, Jocelyn, good. In the positive direction. Okay. Okay, you know, little by little, you learn. Little by little. No? I know that you are lazy, but little by little, you learn. Because I push you. In any class. So basically, my surface look like, like that. It's a paraboloid, no? It's a paraboloid. This is my surface. But let me put a line like that to indicate surface. And this is my surface. Uh -huh. I'm bounded by one. So we have a plane here. We have a plane. Suppose we have a plane here. Now let me try to do my best in 3D. A plane. Uh -huh. And the plane is y go one and cut off the paraboloid. Uh -huh. This is a plane, but this is no part of the surface. I want to compute only the flux passing through the yellow part. Okay. Ah, uh, say so I want. You, I can do everything you want. You want to prove. You want to find the the both surface to say you separate the problem into flux integral in two surfaces in there. But no, 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 this is my surface, yes. Okay, yeah, I promise I want to do an implicit. I don't know, so you write like that, f x comma y comma z, and make a decision. I want to illustrate this way. I put x squared plus y squared minus y equal to zero. So I move the y to the right hand side, and now ready to apply gradient the gradient is partial derivative to x with respect to x partial derivative of the y with respect to x negative one and partial derivative with respect to sorry sorry i'm making it stay here carajo this is z this is c this is c this is 2c this is my my guys okay Okay, uh, now 
if you want to find the normal vector, oh, 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 no the normal vector, sino the dx vector, the formula is this, divided by the magnitude of this. Look, the product something, I want to call it general P vector. And P dependency is maybe P is K, when this K is X, Y plane, when the P is J is X, C plane, and when the P is I, unit vector is the plane C, Y, or Y, C, whatever. In this case, in my, in my opinion, is much better, much better doing. Uh, sorry, I put it, well, okay, I guess you have DA here, DA in general. Huh? Uh -huh, but in this case, mm, I suppose it's better projecting in the C X plane. Therefore, the P vector is J. So no P in general. So no, 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 it's J here. You consider it's J vector. So we have here in the DA, we have DX DC. Or DC DX. I don't know exactly what is the most convenient. Or I don't know see I ending or no in polar. I suppose they ending in polar because the projection is a circle. Okay. Suppose okay, this is my region R. I suppose. I suppose. Okay, it was my flux integral. The flux integral is the name of the one surface integral in which the integral function is the vector field. It's a flux integral. Some people call it like that. It's double integral in the region R. Who is the region R? This is my region R. Get the projection. Uh -huh. So now the vector field F is 0, comma y, comma negative c. Multiplication by this vector. By this vector. Okay, okay, listen to me. Uh, let me try to compute that part. Well, that part I did that. Is this. But I don't do that part. So this is the magnitude of this that j and you know that j is the vector 0 comma 1 comma 0 when you perform the double problem in between this guy and this guy together it's obvious that the first component is 0 the second component is negative 1 and the third component is 0 and negative 1 but it's a magnitude absolute value the answer in this part is 1 and it stay only 2x comma negative 1 comma to C. Uh -huh. And here you put DA. Okay, you know, okay, it's DX DC or DC DX. I have no idea. Or maybe polar. No, 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 no. I don't know. But okay, basically, when you perform this dot product, because this is the dot product, okay, now you get the, the scalar function is zero times something is zero. Y times negative one is negative Y. Um, negative c time two and negative two c square no d a mm -hmm. it's a double integral but okay okay this we are because double integral uh -huh, is But in the double integral, well, the double integral, but in this double integral, oh, 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 look at that. In this double integral, I have y, I have c. But okay, see, so you project it onto the x c plane, it's totally illegal to have y. It's similar, no? Remember, when you project it onto the x y plane, and you have inside the integral function c. No, I need to do substitution c. But in this case, the substitute variable is y. But oh no, it's easy because I know the y at the beginning is the paraboloid. No, the y at the beginning is okay. Is this? And now you substitution. Uh -huh. Instead of negative y, no, I put negative x squared minus c squared minus 2c squared. Yeah. Okay, do you see that in the double integral it's totally illegal to have three variables, x, y, z? No, you have two, only two, depending on the 
region que you are doing the double integral. And the, the region lie in the xz plane, entonces es totally legal to have x and z, no y. Okay, now combine like turn. Bang. This is minus x squared uh, plus 3, no? Minus, 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 minus 3z squared. Mm -hmm. D, 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 A. Uh, something like that. It's correct. Uh, we, how we feeling? Bueno, I suppose, I suppose que tu dimension projection in the double integral in the XC plane is a circle. It's a circle, but this circle, again, one more time, it's a circle X squared plus C squared equal one. You can remember, you cut off the plane and y equal one. Therefore, uh -huh, so you suppose que y and one is obvious that's a unit circle. One, one, one. Okay, okay, okay. This is my, I finish my double integral like that. Double integral. Now polar. Polar is the best way because it's a circle. En polar es totally illegal to have x and z, no. Uh -huh. Entonces, en polar, en, ok, the equation for the polar que you know es x equal r cosine integral and y is equal r sin integral. This is a classical, no? But in this case, no. Because in this case, you are doing in the polar, eh, no especial, pero es, eh, we are polar and what the c is no, y is no y, es c, es c. Because you project it onto the X, Y, Z. Uh -huh, okay, it doesn't know. Okay. So it's basically, it's, okay, too many negative. I put a negative outside the game. The X is a square, is R square, cosine square theta. This is the upper. Plus, I put it, I factor out negative one outside that. Three times, C is R square, sine square theta. Uh -huh. Now the Jacobian, Jacobian is R dr d theta. It's obvious that R vary from 0 to 1, uh -huh. and theta vary from 0 to 5. And the rest is, you know, algebra and cal 1. The answer is negative pi. Uh -huh. When the flux is negative, that means that the flux that you suppose que is coming out, is coming in, so it's negative, it's the opposite direction. It's in opposite direction. So sometimes the interpretation for the sign is opposite direction. No? Makes sense, right? Uh -huh. Any question? I know that that part is hard. In my opinion, it's the hardest part in the call three. No, no, actually, the chapter four is the hardest. I told you at the beginning. However, inside the chapter four, the the flux integral is the hardest part because there are many formulas and there are many ways to face that. That is the reason I sent to you the flow chart. Okay, a little big guy us how you face the problem. Depending, no see the see the problem. Give me the information in in explicit. It's the, it's the most popular way. However, see the problem give me in parametrization, suppose, suppose this example is example F5 or S6, guy. I don't remember. F5, 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 very well, Daniel, F5. Now, so in this case, mm -mm -mm. The, the vector field is given by this. 2x, 2y, 2c. Uh, and the surface, well, the surface is uh, x squared plus y squared equal 9. Uh -huh, and constraints c vary from 0 to 5. This is my surface. Okay? Uh -huh. I need help. I need help to to identification what kind of surface. So I, I try to do a sketch in 3D. 
en 3D, who helped me? No Gerardo, no the participation. Come on, okay. today was good the participation. What kind of surface it is? Come on, come on, I want to hear. Opinions. A ver, Brandon, Heidi, Jocelyn, David Restrepo, Omar, Victoria again. Para Oliver, you are wrong, but para uh, Victoria, you are wrong, you are wrong, you are wrong. Why you are wrong? Uh, Daniela, Rabasa. Are you there, Daniela? Answer me, yes, no. No? Are you sleeping? Carlos Duque, I know that you are there. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. No para Oliver. Because paraboloid is, you see before in the last problem, suppose that you have C is equal X squared plus Y squared. Oh, it's paraboloid because you have C, X, and Y. We have no Z here. C is missing. You want to C is missing a cylinder. Circular cylinder along the C X. Oh. Guys, yeah, it's no big deal to memorize this. Bueno, when you are taking calculus 3, no, maybe when you finish, you forgot. Entonces, this is cylinder, pero no entire infinity cylinder, no, it's one piece of the cylinder because it's bounded by C equals 0, que es on the XY plane, and C equals 5. So basically, bueno, bueno, okay, 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 but I want only compute the flux. No in the closed uh, solid, no, 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 no. This is after. In the in the lateral walk, in the lateral face of this, the yellow part. So that part, no. That part, no. And that part, no. Only in the yellow part, okay? No, no. Okay, so, okay, okay. So, now I make a decision. I don't know why. Doing by a parametrization. Doing the parametrization. Let me try to practice a little bit parametrization different. Yeah, I define my famous vector value function. And this vector value function depending of theta and z. How do you know that? Because it's super easy. Remember, que for example, if you suppose it's a curve, que suppose it's a curve, the parametrization is the classical x equal 3 because the radio is 3, no? This radio, by the way, is 3. Uh -huh. So it's c cosine theta. And y is 3 sine theta, no? And theta vary from 0 to pi. This is the parametrization, a curve, not surface, curve. Okay? Uh -huh. This is r in t or in theta. Normally we call t. In 2D, but no, remember, but I'm going to say you call any, any barrel. So it basically is a vector value function, 3 cosine t, theta, sorry, 3 sine theta. And this is the domain. The domain is one line, theta barrel from 0 to 1. But no, we are doing parameter surface, so we need two parameters. But okay, I take advantage because I know that the base and any. Any any curve here, suppose que C is a constant, suppose C equal, I don't know, 2. Uh -huh. eh, este constant, entonces, es 3 cosine theta, coma, 3 sine theta. Uh -huh. This is my, this is my X component of the surface. This is my Y component of the surface. And my Z component of the surface is just Z. And remember, in the vector value function that represents the parametrization of the surface, we have two parameters. In the curve, only one. Only one. One. Here, two parameters. Uh -huh. And where is the domain? Well, the domain is theta vary from 0 to pi. Because totally around, uh, suppose it's a semi semi cylinder. So it's different, it's pi. And C vary from 0 to 5, exactly the problem say at the beginning. Look, if you want to represent this domain in the famous plane, in the famous plane theta Z, 
Uh -huh. This is zero, this is two pi, and this is five. And this is my domain. This is my domain in which you ending the double integral. Basically, this is my region R when you ending the double integral. Okay, parametrization. Now you compute the R partial derivative, the vector value function with respect to the theta. You differentiate this with respect to the theta. Derivative cosine is minus sine. Comma, derivative sine is cosine. Comma, derivative C with respect to the theta is C. And you differentiate with respect to C. No C, no C, one C. So it's 0, 0, 1. And you compute the double product. The cross product, sorry. You compute the cross product. Uh -huh. The cross product. And the cross product, well, you know, is IJK. Mm -hmm. Determinant options. You put here. Minus 3 sine theta, 3 cosine theta, 0, 0, 0, and 1. I want to skip that part as always, and the answer is 3 cosine theta, comma, uh, 3 sine theta, comma, 0. Uh -huh. Uh, I make sense eh? because the normal vector here have no component in C. The normal vector in this phase look like, like that. We have no C component. That is the reason because C is here. I try to interpret it. Okay, now the flux. Integral is flux. The vector field. Uh huh. And that is. Okay. Is equal. Double integral. And the region R. Who is the region R? This is the region R. Okay, now you evaluate. You evaluate, you evaluate, you evaluate, you evaluate, you evaluate, you evaluate. So the idea is that you evaluate the vector field in the vector function R. U comma B. Remember this idea. It's just evaluate. Suppose this is, but no peak you are. No, no, no. This is two. Well, this is common factor. If you want, you consider it two as a common factor, x comma y comma c. Uh -huh. Now, not necessarily the two inside. I put it in my paper. I don't know why two outside like a common factor. I know that x is three cosine. Comma and y is three sine. Comma and see is and the S vector. Ooh, 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 the S vector is this guy. Uh -huh. And remember S the variable and the vector value function is D C the theta. Uh -huh, because it's the new plane. Okay, this is uh, 3 cosine, comma, 3 sine, comma, 0. DC, D theta, or D theta, DC, whatever. This doesn't matter, the order. Okay, now, we multiplication. The pro, the pro, the pro, the pro, the pro, the pro is this time this. Uh, it's double integral in the region R. It's two if you want to put outside. You have three times three get nine. Three times three is nine cosine square theta. And your multiplication this and this. So it's plus nine again sine square t. Uh -huh. Plus something plus c multiplied by zero. Oh, oh, oh it's nothing. So it's not c. Okay, makes sense. Remember, our flux have no component in C. 
because we are computing the flux in the in the in the lateral side of the cylinder. Uh -huh. So we have DC, 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 the data, no? DC, the data, DC, the data. Okay, now uh, you need to convert. Oh, no, 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 wait. So you factor out nine here, and we have cosine square theta plus sine square theta. No? This is the one. So nine times two, 18. Wow, 18, 18, 18, 18, double integral uh -huh, of the DC. Detail. Uh, and you need Jacobian. No, we don't need Jacobian because we are doing parametrization. Uh, we are doing so when you don't do parametrization and you suppose the variable X and Y or another, you, say, hey, you want to change the polar, you need Jacobian, but in this case, no. In this case, I do the transformation in different way. The parametrization allow me to change the variable, the traditional variable X, Y, Z, like it's C and theta, and no Jacobian, because Jacobian is implicit inside the parametrization. After I want to explain this idea in detail, because this is confusing. Now, the C is varied from 0 to 5, and theta is varied from 0 to 5. Uh -huh. And the answer is 180, because it's 5 times 2 is 10, 10 times 18 is 185. This is a flux. This is a flux. Do you follow me, guy? Do you follow me? Follow it. Okay. I have one other problem. I have another problem. Okay, guys, let me take advantage of this moment before I start the last problem. Uh -huh. I posted in my MATLAB a final test. A final test is not mandatory. It's one tool that I want to use in to help some students to fail or, or not fail, see, fail, fail, one test. So in the in the in the mathematica of the average, so you can compute by yourself. This is super easy. There's no flux. Get complicated. You take your grade in every test. You can see your score in Blackboard, uh -huh, and you compute it. See you when you compute the average. You have, for, for example, example, 86, 86 is B, no? and you are agree with the B. Super, no problema. No, no, take the final. The final is totally optional to help you. Ah, so you get 65 or 64. Ah, your grade is D. You need to retake again this class. Ah, well, don't say you take the final. And you supposed to get the final, you get, I don't know, a good score 95. To say and maybe when you average improve and you pass the class. Okay, do you understand? No mandatory. Don't be scared. It's only for the two that need improve. The rest, no. Okay. 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 Let's move on to the last problem. It's similar to this. It's parametrization. Another example of the parametrization. So I am doing three problems of the explicit. So I suppose the explicit is very, very popular. One problem of the implicit and two problems of the parametrization. Okay. Let me try number six example. Example six. A vector value function vector field, sorry, is zero comma zero comma x square plus y square. Wow, we have only component in the c direction. And the vector function, the vector field, sorry, look like, like that. Not depending the point, no? x comma y comma c. Okay. And the surface surface is a little bit complicated, but I try to explain. Look, I want to explain graphically. The surface is is a disk. A disk. A disk. They look like like that. Uh -huh. In negative four, in C equal negative four, 
we have a disk like that. Circular, no? No elliptic, as you know, circular disk. Totally solid. This is my surface. And the radio is. Is. is let me see what is the radio. Uh -huh, the radio is six. The radio is six. Six. Okay? Uh -huh. It's a disk. No cylinder, no paraboloid, no plane. It's a one, it's totally flat. As C184, it says, okay. Uh -huh. Entonces, the best way to represent the this is using parametric. Parametric surface is, you know, R, uh -huh. in this case, R, comma, theta. No C, because C is negative 4. R, what is the reason one of the radius 6? But R vary from 0 to 6. And theta vary from 0 to pi because it's the entire disk, no one semi disk or something. And the parametric equation is R cosine theta. Uh, it's, it's similar to the cylinder, but in, this, in the cylinder, the radio is constant. And this, no, because the radio vary. Uh, a R is sine theta. And C, no, is just negative 4. It's negative 4. C is negative 4. This is X component, this is Y component, this is C component. Uh, and the, we have two parameters. The parameters R and theta. Uh -huh. And the range of the parameter theta vary from 0 to pi. And Z. C no R, sorry, because C is negative four, it's a constant. C no no bury, don't bury. Uh -huh, is from R from zero to six. Uh -huh. Therefore, the domain of this parameterization is theta here. Whatever theta C theta theta. R here, zero to by and 0 to 6. Okay, this is my domain. This is famous region R. Okay, I change the flux integral to double integral. This is my region R. Okay, allow me, allow me to change the flux integral to double integral in the region R. Okay. As always, I need to I need to compute the partial derivative. Partial derivative R with respect to theta is minus R sine theta. Comma R cosine theta. Comma zero because derivative constant is zero. Uh -huh. Now R with respect to the R, in this case, same letter. You differentiate partial derivative with respect to the R is cosine theta, is sine theta, is zero. Now, the product, cross product, sorry, cross product, cross product, cross product, R theta, cross product, R, R. I, J, K minus r sine, r cosine, zero, cosine theta, sine theta, and zero. Unbelievable, the answer is zero, comma, zero, comma, r. Uh, you can verify, verify that. Okay, now I perform, I perform the Okay, look at that, look at that. The, I come back to the, my vector field. Okay, I come back to my vector field. My vector field was 0, 0, 0, something. And this something uh, is expressed like x, y, no? But remember, we change the variable. Now it's r and theta. 
is R squared. Entonces, my vector field is 0, 0, R squared. The product, this guy, que es 0, 0, R. Of course, DR, D theta. I need Jacobian, no. I no, don't need Jacobian. I don't need the Jacobian. The Jacobian we need when you have XY plane and you change to polar. Or oh, another, another XC, it's like a Cartesian to polar to so say you apply, apply Jacobian. But in this case, no, because you are doing the transformation directly from the XYC to R theta. Okay? And uh, multiplication. Bueno, 0, 0, 0, 0, R cube. This is R, R cube. DR, D theta. And the limit is easy. The limit of go from 0 to 6. The radio of this disk. From 0 to 6. And 0 to Y. Boom. And we compute that. The answer is 648 pi. It's a flux. It's positive. I suppose. I suppose. Can you see you suppose. Que... Well, I don't know. The, 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 I suppose that normal vector is like that. Uh -huh. And the vector field look like, like that. And so I suppose that the flux is positive. No? OK, super, super, super. I like that. OK, now my plan is, my plan is, let me stop recording. <laughs>